What's going on, y'all? What up, what up, what up? Daniel Augustine here. Um, gonna be recording from the airport. I'm on my way to Atlanta to film a feature film. And I um, still wanted to talk about these games. Um, wanted to try to uh, complete these videos, hopefully before I get to the hotel. Uh, Cause by the time I get there, I'm gonna be working on dialogue and whatnot. Um, so I figured I might be able to get this done on the plane. But a few games I really wanted to talk about from week 14, really crazy week, very crazy week of football. Um, I wanna start off talking about Tennessee Volunteers and the Vanderbilt Commodores. Tennessee wins this game 36 to 23. And I think what we saw from Tennessee was important because I think it's important to be able to see a team start out slow and not just win the game, because you scratching and clawing, but figure out how to overcome such a slow start, such a, you know, caught me off guard type of start, and then take off from there. And Tennessee did just that. They fell behind 14 to zero, um, just based on how Vanderbilt started out the game. They started out the game with uh, returning a kickoff return for a touchdown, and then Tennessee fumbled the ball on their second play. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty trippy that so many teams are starting out their offensive possessions like this. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do my best to be quick. Flight's taken off in about 15 minutes. I felt like with Tennessee, they were really finding their stride here. Not just because they fell behind, but because Nico Imaleava was able to complete throws down the field. Now he's still not actually completing the deep ball per se but I'm starting to see him connect on the post route. I think that is one of his favorite routes. It seems to me in particular, one of the approaches for a lot of these teams nowadays is to try to turn the game into a track and field meet, to try to turn the game into a seven on seven. Tennessee, one of their advantages is the fact that they don't need to just mess with the wide receivers though. They can also run between the tackles with Dylan Samuel, Dylan Sampson and be very successful at that. Um, he had 25 carries for 178 yards, averaging seven yards a touch. No touchdowns, but you don't need anything from him when you get four from Nico Imaliava. Um, so to see Nico start getting some offensive production is a sign of growth. It is, uh, it's very important to see moving into this stage where we're going right now, heading into the playoffs. I think this was an important win for Tennessee. Not a lot of people give Vanderbilt any credit whatsoever because they're Vanderbilt and because of their past, but they do play teams very tough. Tennessee played them very well on defense. Vanderbilt found a way to keep it close. Like I said, they play teams very tough. You saw a lot of teams losing towards the last game of the season. A lot of teams, especially when it came to rivalry week, teams that had no business losing we're losing. So it's important to see Tennessee not show up and play four quarters of bad football. They might have started off slow, you know, first quarter or whatnot, but they absolutely started playing very well, very consistently, and uh, completing quite a few passes. Nico uh, connected with Thornton Jr. just three times, but for 118 yards and two tutties. I mean, when you're getting that kind of production out of your quarterback, your wide receiver, and your running back, there's going to be quite a flow on the offensive side of the ball. I do still think this Tennessee team is very dangerous. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do when they get to the playoffs, because they don't have to go to any SEC title game. They're in the playoffs. They're done. Their regular season is done now. Next week, they get to rest, recover, let guys heal up, and then they're going to be heading into the playoffs very soon. So really looking forward to what they do. They'll probably get a playoff. They'll probably get a home playoff game as well. So very interested to see where Tennessee matches up and with whom. Um, they were ranked eighth, they won their game, so they're probably a slide up to say seventh or sixth based on Ohio State losing. Um, and who knows, I mean, Tennessee might end up playing, um, you know, if they're the seventh seed, say, I, I think that's what, the sixth seed they might end up playing. Um, not quite sure off the top of my head right now, but you know, liable to see something like a Tennessee against Indiana. Tennessee, last week they, they slated Tennessee versus Georgia. Um, but I think that's gonna get a bit more mixed up now because of some of the losses that took place. So, great win by Tennessee, very important win. Like I said, nobody wants to start off slow, but being able to be the kind of team that can start off slow, overcome how you started, really put your stamp on the game, and win convincingly. 
very important to get that kind of win so you can build that kind of confidence for your team and for your quarterback. Nico needs to see himself connect on some of these passes, not just the layups, but the deep passes, because if you can't connect on those, at the end of the day, teams can just play you one kind of way, force you to run the ball, and then stop the run. So, big win for Tennessee. Moving on.